Welcome! In front of me I have OnePlus Watch 3 and I'm gonna show you how to enable the phone notifications for this watch on the Android phone. Basically, if you want to receive the notifications uh, from your phone on your watch. Before we start, if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on your watch, your watch needs to be paired with your phone via the OHEV application. And once the device, devices are paired together, we can continue and now we can open the OHEV application on the phone that is paired with our watch. In the app you should see the help, uh, not health, uh, home page. And once you see it, you can tap on devices icon to open the devices page. On this page you should see your OnePlus Watch 3. And once you see it, you can scroll down, tap on notifications. And here, if you don't have the required permissions allowed, you will see this pop up, tap on turn on and allow the uh, notification access by tapping on the switch and tapping on allow. And once you allow the notification access, you will be able to open the notification page. And here we can customize settings for our notifications. First category is notifications from watch apps. So basically applications on your watch. And you can turn on or off the option to allow notifications for new applications. So if you install some new application on your watch, it will automatically allow notification for it if this option is enabled. If you disable it, it won't and you will need to enable it uh, via the app or settings on your watch. Uh, basically going here and turning it on or off by tapping on the switch next to the app. Uh, next uh, category is notifications from phone apps. So basically the apps on your phone and you will be able to receive them on your watch. And here we have option sync for notifications. If this option is disabled, the notifications are disabled. But if you enable them or the option, the notification will turn on. And then we have a couple options like silence incoming calls on phone. So if this option is enabled and you receive the notification from uh, on your watch uh, about the calls from your phone, uh, your phone won't be uh, making any sound, it will be silenced basically. If you disable this option, it will uh, ring anyway. So that's like you can enable it or disable it according to your preferences. Next, we have the silence notifications on phone, same uh, for the notifications. Then we have an uh, option to enable the uh, to sync the notifications even though you're not wearing your watch. If this option is enabled and your watch is, I don't know, on your desk or somewhere, you're not wearing it, you will receive the notifications anyway. If this watch is, uh, if this option is disabled, you won't receive them if you're not wearing your watch. So uh, let's say your watch is on the desk, uh, you receive the notification on your phone, that notification will be forwarded because this option is disabled. Next we have when the phone is unlocked. This option is uh, basically if you're using your phone, the screen on your phone is on. If this option is enabled, you will receive the notifications on your uh, on your watch, and even though your phone is, you're using your phone, the screen is on on your phone. If this option is disabled, you won't be receiving them if your screen is on 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 the phone. So again, that's according to your preferences, if you like it or not. Then we have the do not uh, sing silent notifications. You can enable it or disable it. And finally, we have manage app notifications. And here you can enable and disable the notifications for the applications on your phone. And how it works is basically if you receive the notification uh, from the app on your phone and the notifications are enabled for it, that notification will be forwarded uh, to your watch. I'm gonna turn on this and this so we can receive them even though I'm not wearing my watch and the phone is unlocked. Okay. And um, if you want to receive the notifications about calls and stuff like that, you will need to allow some more uh, permissions. Sometimes you have the pop-up about the permissions right here in the app and you can tap on turn on and then allow. Uh, and if you see more pop-ups, you can tap on settings and it will direct you to this page. And on this page, you can tap on permissions and here we have permissions you can allow. But if you're not in the app, you can enter that page by finding the OHEV application icon, pressing and holding on it, and tapping on app info. And then you can tap on permissions again. And I believe that if you want to receive the notifications about calls, you will need to enable the call log, contacts, and phone and notification. And for the SMS, you will need to allow SMS. And to allow them, tap on the permission, tap on allow, and go back. So I'm gonna allow all of them, or all of the ones that I mentioned, my bad. Okay. 
and it wanted location. Uh, I'm gonna allow it while using the app. Okay, so remember, uh, call logs, contacts, uh, phone and SMS for the notifications about calls and uh, uh, messages. Okay, and now we should be able to receive the notifications. So I'm gonna send myself a message on Discord and we'll be, we will see if it's working. We got the notification on our phone. Let's check our watch and we also received it on our watch, which means it is working. And that's how you enable the phone notifications for this watch on the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video. Thank you.